And the second one is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. That's the, and we have a hard time with this. The Bible also says that how can we say we love God and not love our neighbor? Our neighbor is not just the person living next door to us, but it's the people all around you wherever you are. We were born of the same Adam. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If Jesus on the cross, dying, you know, being lifted up, I, you know, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. The Lord's heart is a heart that understands that they don't understand the darkness that they're in. They don't understand the devil is ruling their souls. They don't know. If they, if they could see the Satan for himself, who he really is, and if they could see the goodness of God clearly standing before him, here's right, here's wrong, what will you have? But they cannot see. We were born into this darkness, all of us. And if you see the light today, do you have patience for him? Do you have patience for her? Do you have patience with your children who don't know any better? Jesus had patience for you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. So that you can retain the love that he's put on you. And then you can take that love that he's given you and give it to others. Stunted growth is that we don't seek his face. We are impatient with ourselves and impatient with others. And we don't look for him while he may be found. We have more arm movements than a little bit. We are to learn how to be still and know, trust in the, the fact that God is God. Be still and know that he is God. I believe that's Psalm 46. You know... My email address is uh, gtwiyf at gmail.com. If you have any questions, you can always email me. gtwiyf at gmail.com. That's get the word in your face. It, you know, God Almighty is good. He's not given us more than we can handle. We can do all things through Christ who is our strength, but we have to learn how to come under him. He is before us always. And we can't come into, you know, a lot of people think that worship is a lot of noise, is a lot of moving around, screaming, and getting as loud as you can get, or getting as far down on your knees as you can get. But real worship is your heart on the table before God, letting him examine that heart daily. You examining your own self by the word of God and letting him change you. I am naked and bare before God. That's Hebrews chapter 4. We are naked and bare before God. He sees our, our every motive, our thoughts, our words before we even speak them. He knows the plan of evil for your life and he knows his plan, his plan of good for your life. But will you fall down before him? Will you allow yourself, will you tell yourself that I'm impatient and I need to have patience before God? I need to get down here in the morning, sit down and just talk to him. I need to read his word, talk to him, and, and see how this word is applied to my life. A Lord, apply this word. When he sees your desire for him, You'll start seeing how the word is being like like butter spread on your toast. <laughs> if I could use it that way. Like water being poured into a cup. God will show you your ways. And he'll show you, God will show you his ways and he'll show you your ways. And you take your strength and put it into that. Put it into your faith toward God that you have the strength to resist because he is your strength. Because he's God. Now, again, we're talking about stunted growth. And I'll probably come back to the subject time again. 
you know, stunted growth works before faith. Works before faith, before your faith is developed, is, uh, is dead. <laughs> you know, God's works are good works. Our works, without God's motive, without the motive of, you know, his destination for it, is bad. You know, it's, it's just dead works. The motive has to be that he be glorified. Because he created the world and all that there is in it. He created the world and all that there is in it. This place is his. And he has given it to us to take care of it, to manage. And yes, it is where it is today. But glory be to God. He in patience, we will possess our souls. We will turn from evil works. We allow ourselves to be clean and washed in the word so that he can shine his love through us to others who will be saved, brought into eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank you and we love you, Father God. Bless our hearts, our minds, our souls. Help us to be more and more and more in love with you today tomorrow and all the days to come. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson with Get the Word in Your Face International sending you out a call to get the word in your face. We love you. Have a good day.